Conway Castle is a medieval fortress located in Conway, North Wales. It was built between 1283 and 1289 by King Edward I of England as part of his campaign to conquer Wales. The castle was designed by architect James of St George and is considered one of the finest examples of military architecture from the Middle Ages. Conway Castle played a strategic role in controlling the Welsh population and suppressing any potential rebellion. Its imposing walls and towers served as a symbol of English dominance in the region. Throughout its history, Conway Castle witnessed several conflicts and sieges, including during the Welsh uprising led by Owen Gledwer in the 15th in the early 15th century, despite suffering damage during these conflicts, the castle remained an important military stronghold. In the centuries that followed, Conway Castle gradually fell into disrepair until it was partly restored in the 19th century by architect George Gilbert Scott, today in UNESCO World Heritage Site and a popular tourist attraction, drawing visitors from around the world to admire its importance impressive architecture and scenic surroundings. Anyway, welcome to Conway Castle. Hope you enjoyed this video, but uh, sorry for the uh, sound because this day it was really particularly windy. Let's start this again. The wind is that bad. We can't even go on the top of the towers. We thought, I know, we'd go in April, but nope, the weather is pants. But anyway, we're in Conway Castle and I've just got to the first bit. It's on about the Welsh monks moved on as illegal immigrants occupy a new town. So, Edward spent time and money constructing the castle walls and the town and then filling it with his countrymen as, at the expense of the locals. That's pretty cool. So we'll just look out. Sorry if it's a bit shaky. The wind is that powerful. It's even blowing me over and I'm big. I'm a big person. Just zooming onto that. Looks like a pulley part of the railway. Could be. You never know. And it's trying to rain. Damn you weather. <laughs> There we go. Now we're going in. I'm coming! <laughs> oh. Right. Going through. That's the northwest tower that we haven't gone to. Welsh brains outwit. English brawn. How cool is this guy? Now I'm falling over. for the shakiness. Wonder is that powerful, it's actually shaking my phone. And I'm trying to avoid short people. I think we might be going down there, hopefully at some point. So, we go that way. <laughs> And this is the good right hall. <laughs> the great hall. The moat's not doing too well. 
says, guests feel nervous when asked to drop in. On one hand, if you're asked, if you are invited guest enjoying a feast uh, with good company and fine food in front of a warming fireplace would have been a delight. Well, look how that all goes. That's pretty nifty, that. I like that. And that's from the outside. Look at that. Right, we are going through to the prison tower. Oh, sugar. The stairs look steep. Oh, sugar. Oh, there's the moat. See, I got it wrong. Well, it's probably a river, actually. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Going up or down? Hello? You going up? Yeah. Right. It's alright. Yeah. Right, so I'm going to pause this. Yes. So, we've climbed some stairs. I think I'm dead now. Whoa, look how this is. Riley, wave. Not like a spanner. You're not a spanner. <laughs> Can you? Yeah. Oh, right. Oh. Oh. I did say that was not going to because of the weather. Oh. Sneak up. It'll be good for you, Vinny. Can see all the beer. Right. Simon? Okay, so I'll go me on. Are you going to sneak up? No. <laughs> We're not meant to be up here because it's really windy. But look. How awesome. That is. Awesome creature. Whoa. Yeah, there's a bit. There. And all the way down. Let's zoom in. Zoom out. And again. And we were up there for a few seconds, but the wind is really, really bad. And we left because I think it was a jackdaw who was having a right upset and we didn't want to annoy it. If we think it might have had a nest up there. So now we are going to go through and around. <sighs> Sorry if it's a bit jiggly, but I just didn't really want to use my... Uh, I haven't a clue why it keeps coming off record. That's why it's usually better in the... Uh... Now it's flipping raining, figures. Damn you weather. But still, try and video as much as I can. Yes, I went to the gimbal. I was sick to death and jiggly, 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 because that's what it felt like. Not jiggly. I know it's affecting the phone. It's got like a shake method in it. So if you shake it too much. Now I'm not going up in the next tower. I'm just going around. So, manners and cleanliness, or cleanliness. We're next 
two god lines in the medieval Conway. Hello, bird. Bird's got some food. Excuse me. I was going to video a bird, but it flew off. Figures. Anyway, it says both spiritual and physical nourishment were provided here. As far as the far end, a chapel provided food for the soul. This side of the modern wooden bridge lay the great hall, providing substance for the stomach. Meals were cooked in the kitchens to your left and then carried across the ward to the hall. Most people here, look, excuse me, most people ate here regardless of rank. The further you sat from the top table, the lower your status. The plainer your food as well. <laughs> Manners and equit ruled, washing your hands and cutting your food were strictly observed, and bone throwing and spitting forbidden. It was the 13th century, for goodness sake. Oh, there you go. I'm oh, going this way, and hopefully, it's like I've not brought an umbrella because that would have blown away a long time ago. So, I'm going around. There's another little bit of an alcove, but I'll have quick. Look, and that goes up steps, but we're not meant to go up there, so we're not going to. Obviously, we've got all these supports one, to stop people from falling off, and two, to obviously hold the uh, castle up. Oh, look, that looks like a baby pigeon over there. No, it's I actually it's trying to fluff itself up because it's cold, and that I'm assuming. On here, if I can zoom in, is a crown, which is pretty cool. Background. I actually try to avoid kids, but unfortunately, it doesn't always work. <laughs> into the bay. Definitely going to be choppy at sea. <laughs> Just hold on to this. It's windy. That's better. I wonder if we can see right across the way there. Nearly. Wow, look at that. Almost see right across. I could zoom in more, but I'm not going to. Whew. The kitchen tower. Keep going. 
short of the bread off. The weather's that bad, they're not actually letting any more people in. And it's still morning. <laughs> so it's like, oh dear. But unfortunately the weather is unpredictable. Simon's in an alcove up that way. One of the workers is walking around and can see them. Oh, well, like we already did. <laughs> and this is my daughter-in-law, Joni. <laughs> Child's running away. Stop and look and make sure we take it. Colours out. Okay. Sucking my hair. It's gonna need washing. <laughs> oh. One of my feet fell asleep. Chapel Tower. Or the ropes. No, it's either that's to stop people escaping or they're putting it across the way that people are not meant to go. But wow, look at that fireplace. That is a fireplace. <sighs> Sorry? Oh, asking you to uh, support, help support our historical places. Bit of a bay window. <laughs> yeah, it is a nice view though. Excuse me, can we actually get over that bridge? Um, I don't think so, I'm not sure. I don't think it's actually anywhere real though. No, oh well. I'm walking a minute. Oops, we're, we are going blurry because I think it's trying to focus on part of the window instead. But still, wow. There's a bit of a, looks like a jetty over there. Right, let's just get out of here. Oh, there's just a plate on the floor. Or is that just for nothing? Is there anything said on that? No, there isn't. Right, have we gone all the way around yet? No, no. Because then we can go back down. Okay. Oh dear. Sorry? No. Not it was nice and sunny this morning, and the weather just went blah. 
basically. Have they gone down? <laughs> oh, it's a bit of writing. And it says, Castle offers no compromise to create comforts. We lifted the roof off the royal apartment to steal a glimpse of how the other half uh, lived. When they did live here, away from the working half of the castle, the accommodation was modern, occupant and luxurious. And then it says, these are the best preserved medieval private royal chambers in Wales or England. There's still plenty of evidence that this grand design, the large fireplaces and the windows are a sign of wealth. Now imagine the rooms plastered and painted, decorated with fine wall hang hangings and dressed with colourful furniture. With its own chapel, kitchen and private mooring, royalty could happily stay at Conway without, Eve, sorry, without ever compromising the comfortable lifestyle. Wow, look at that where they've made that. That's pretty cool. Right, this way again. Let's try and turn this around a little. Oh, wow. Where did that come from? Um, yeah. Excuse me. Thank you. Don't know where they've gone, but it says Edward closes doors on royal life. Royals may have not been hounded by the medieval paparazzi, but people of power still protected their privacy. Below entry to the royal apartments were barred by a gatehouse. Access from above was blocked by two doors. Look at the towers, and you can see where they are slammed shut. The doors may have not been able to withstand a military attack, but they did keep eyes from prying, ears from burning, and more importantly, tongues from wagging. I may have to cut this camera soon because the weather is getting a bit bad. Which way we're we going? <laughs> yeah. Right, I'm gonna cut this camera because of I'm going down. So, the thing that I was looking down, now we're at the bottom, we're going to be looking up. Unfortunately, it pants this weather. There we go. Horrible rain. <laughs> there we go. And out we go. Pardon me. This is all bits of information. So I'm gonna photograph this because it'd be a lot easier. Excuse me. And then we're back.
So it's taxpayers. Uh, taxpayers concerned as royal apartments lie empty. And over 700 years, only three monarchs stayed in the royal apartments. Edward I, Edward II and Richard II, costing 420 from the public purse. That's over a million pounds today. This investment might seem extravagant, so uh, yeah. Edward I spent a miserable Christmas here in 1294. Besieged by the Welsh army, he did get to meet and confirm the appointment of the new Archbishop of Canterbury in spring though after the trouble had died down. At least Conway was completed. Carafon and Beamaris, I don't know why I've said that right, sorry, were never finished as Edward I was hit by his own credit crunch. Hmm, well, that sounds familiar. Credit crunch. We should actually see a bit more of this, but unfortunately, the weather was rubbish. And we got presents chamber. E gate passage. Go down slowly. Oh, fudge. I may read some of this off camera because the weather is pants. Oh dear. No, actually, if I just this, hold on. Turn this down and around. Have I got this on here? I don't know because I can't see. <laughs> but it says, for 500 years, Conway Castle guarded the river and it's very classic. Since the Revolution War, all river crossings have been built. They all tried to copy the castle with architecture and materials or be completely invisible. 1826 chain suspension, which is down here. That's the chain suspension. How cool is that? I don't know what we're seeing this sorry. Uh, chain suspension, the elegant bridge in front of you was designed by Thomas Telford. It carried the cost, the coast road for more than 130 years. It says, 1848 tubular to your right is the first ever tubular bridge. So that'll be that. <sighs> to your right is the first ever tubular bridge in the world. The new tech raw iron bridge developed by Robert Stevenson was built by stone mason William Evans. It's the only one of Stevenson's tubular bridge remaining today. Says <laughs> <laughs> so 1958 single arch as traffic increased, Telford's bridge could not cope. So a modern steel road bridge faced with stone to blend in with the ancient castle was built. 1991. Immersed tube, the North Wales Expressway was built to cope with today's heavy traffic, echoing Stevenson's work. It made from a prefabricated tube, but floated out and sunk onto the bed of the river, the first of its kind in the UK. So, there you go. Middle gate. Port edge. 
They stop letting people in. So that's why it's so quiet. So there's no chance of us uh, videoing anybody we shouldn't, basically. No way. Forty-five. Oh yeah, less than that then. <laughs> so apparently there was a stable there. I'm a little bit annoyed as well. That's why I can't find this. There was a passenger door. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. All right. So, look. The shanker had an old one. Billy the shanker. Edward was the first added first. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, you're right. It was Edward the shanker. Yeah. So, Llewellyn destroys castle as English eye land grab. Comey wasn't the first castle to dominate this statue. Two centuries before Edward I built the fortress, another castle sat between the twin peaks of Deganway or Deganway was the focus of battle and bloodshed. Um, across the river, Conway, the camel shaped crags cradled the castle of Dingway, seen as the launch pad for invasions into the heartlands of Glenedge. Although it was an ancient Welsh settlement, it was it swapped hands between the native Welsh and the English invaders until Llewellyn Ap Gufford destroyed it in 1263. Rather than rebuild Dingway, Edward favoured the strategic benefits of building on the western banks of the river. Well, there you go. And it even gives you details if you can follow the story. There you go. That's pretty cool. Oh dear. Ooh. Meant to be a wishing well. Well, did you throw any money in the wishing well? No. Wishing to make well. Oh, fudge, sorry. It's how windy it is. <laughs> Tuck your shirt in and be on your best behaviour. You're about to enter the royal heart of Conway and see how the other half lived. In the other half of the castle, the gateway ahead as obli obligatory drawbridge, portcullis, and battlements to protect an exclusive suite of luxurious apartments. So we're going that way and following their numpties. Shh. I said that. Hello. All right, we're waiting for the uh, Welsh one to finish. And then we will try and play the English one so we can hear about it. But unfortunately, it's... Yeah. Why are you going to press it? After. Good grief. Did it talk this long? <laughs> Oh, that's all right. It's on your boat. If you get a nice enough photograph, you can sell them. That press it. I <laughs> couldn't wait. Princess of Gwynedd, leading a whale-wide rebellion. The Welsh 
have surrounded Conway Town. They have fled to cut Edward off from his army. They battered all our own, taking his company down to the last hour of life. The evil writer, Walter of Gisborough, described the sorry scene. They were saving this one. But he refused to say it. In our day, everything was the else of common. All of us must have exactly the same. God on high watches over us. I am the star, the cause of all this. And I should do no better than you. Immediately after that, Almighty God came to their aid. The, the whole army crossed to the king. And all of them now put the Welsh to flight. Edward stayed on at Conway until February 1295 was joined in his North Wales stronghold by the newly appointed Archbishop of Canterbury, who struggled all the way across the country through the worst of the Welsh winter weather to seek Edward's approval of his duly ordained status. Let's hope Edward has been able to replenish the wine cellar. Woohoo! We need beer. I mean wine. Right, we're walking back up, but uh, yeah. So let's stop this and turn around trying to walk out and then I'll hopefully get help going up the steps you never know with this lot the old clear off and leave me right hang on going up the steps anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video sorry the weather's been pants but you can't predict the weather how it is and this is going <laughs> anyway these two won't shut up. I'm going gagging. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Bye.